All right, here's a demonstration of a yet another switching power supply. Most of it is built onto this board. The difference is this one's a variable power supply. Again, it consists of a LM2575-8 dash adjust. Has two capacitors, a coil, switching diode, an extra resistor and a potentiometer. This has 17 volts going in. All right, and you can and watch the intensity on the panel. This is good for up to an amp from 1.2 something to As you can see, the LED panel will get very, very bright. This thing will pump out the power up to an amp. If you need something that's fairly inexpensive to control, to adjust the intensity on an LED bank, these are white LEDs, they're three in series, they cut on around eight volts. And you could pump the energy into these things. Very simple circuit. I'll go, I'll go through the circuit explanation, but it's simple and easy to use. It is a switching regulator. It's far more efficient for right now. Those LEDs probably have an amp, half an amp or more going into it at that particular brightness but if you put your finger over here on the regulator barely warm if I use something like an LM317 which is a series pass regulator I would have had to heat sink the, the uh, regulator already again switching regulators are highly energy efficient they are more complicated, and sometimes if you don't build them correctly, you have noise and other problems. We'll look in the schematic, and I'll explain more about the LM2575 very adjustable switching regulator. Here's the schematic right out of the Texas Instruments spec sheet. Mine is a little different. Uh, you can put in up to 60 volts. I used a 470 microfarad input cap for a little more stability. I used a 160 microhenry coil. I changed R2 to a 10K. If you're going to put in 50 volts, you really need to go with the 50K. And I didn't use this extra little filtering here. It didn't seem to need it. Output current is 1 amp and... Like I said, very easy to build. Most of the work is done internally.